Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to convert this into this super cute background details for Deepika Padgun. So first I'm going to import image from the gallery. So I just downloaded this image from the internet. So I'm just positioning it and just feel like uh, the background color is awesome so i just copied the background color to the color palette and using the lazo eraser tool i will be a special uh, tool i'm going to erase the background why i'm just erasing the background and i just why i copied that background color is because so this background looks like a gradient background so i for this kind of artworks we need uh, you know, plain, even toned background looks better and you know, peppy. So that's why I'm just removing the background. So if you want, you can just remove background or just blur it uh, if you want. So it's up to you. So for this, I'm just removing the background using the lasso eraser. This eraser is perfect for such minute erasing process. So now I'm going to add the background in the new layer and make sure while using the bucket tool click on the current layer option I will be at the bucket tool so it doesn't turn out messy so I am now using deep pen hard brush to draw some outline so I just created new layer for this outline and this layer is going to be above the deep upper one layer and I am adding details so basically for such kind of art especially it's up to you but for myself for uh, what I like this I will add some such kind of details artworks for um, accessories as well as the dress so here uh, the card one doesn't have any accessories on so I'm just adding these outline details as well as the dress details only to the dress so for now I completed the outline so I just created a new layer and using the I just uh, color picked uh, the dress color and just made the dress layer. Just I'm going to cover entire dress with that using the uh, lasso fill tool from the special tool. So now I'm adding details a little bit minutely. So if we have to make sure the hair looks like realistic. So I just made that clear and now I'm going to add the shadow. So to for the shadow as usual I pick the color from the dress itself so, uh, using the color picker tool so now I just clicked off the uh, dress layer which I created before just because uh, I have to know where is the shadow is to create the shadow uh, details so I just clicked off that now you can see the shadow really looks perfect so I just off that again and adding the shadow details where it and uh, it needed so not so much detail is recommended since it have to look like a cartoon effect so we are not uh, in need to add more texture or minor details not anything like that just it have to look like something peppy so now i'm adding shadows here and there a little bit minutely and then reduce the opacity of the lasso fill tool and creating some more shadows um, between that two colors so now we can see it is a little bit transparent so i just made that uh, this shadow layer as a clipping layer so now i'm going to add the background details i'm using the fill tip pen hard here comes the real game so i'm going to make outline real white uh, you know sticker like outline for the cover cone so you have to do like this just make sure that there is no gap between the uh, image as well as the white line it should be like attached it should be like a sticker one so in a new layer i'm going to add some peppy art cute art details that you have have uh, you know seen in some Pinterest some uh, something like this or in any ad advertisements so I'm using curve tool uh, to create these designs and now I'm using star round brush 
to add some star details so most recommended is all number of uh, details like three star five star or one star something like that or any other whatever the details may be uh, odd number of details is highly recommended but here for for some reason i'm using even number two of this no rectangle like shape i used line two to create this and now i'm using the mask to create this round round effect so why i used mask uh, layer how we use this mask layer is just mm, click on the alpha lock available at the layer option so what happens when you rest, you click on the alpha lock is that whatever you drawing in that layer only will be drawn on the details i will i'll be available so now i'm using the kaleidoscope ruler to add some floral like background effect for the background so i'm using the pen hard i reduce its opacity you know, of the brush to create some floral like effect since the color looks a little bit stronger i just going to reduce the opacity of the layer so now the flower look uh, you know amazing and you know a little bit of transparent so the uh, bottom is going to be our main attraction so i just reduce its uh, you know flower opacity so some more i'm add round circle uh, bubbles like here and there so this is the final look from these to this i hope you like this i am not a big fan of more details so i just kept it simple so if you like my video please subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching